Okay, folks. Uh, so I've got, I'm still inside of Grace Episcopal Church. We're just looking at some of the beautiful uh, interior of that church. I do not go to this church, but I go to a Baptist church, actually. But I have to say, this is a beautiful, beautiful church, and I thank them for letting me do a little bit of work for them, and this is just gorgeous. If you're ever in Morganton want to visit a church with beautiful stained glass from England, it's some of the prettiest in North Carolina, I think, then go visit this church. I'm going to pull this um, video down. And so let's say I want to have a title that comes up here. I want, it wants to, I want to say faith or some kind of thing like that. But I want that title to move. I want it to kind of maybe come in, uh, fade in, and move and grow, and then maybe, maybe slide off the screen or something. I'm going to go here and I'm going to do another lower third or another title, actually, or let's say new title. Okay. And so we'll just call this one faith. Okay. So now we're going to make some things move. And so let's get our, uh, our big faith word that's going to come in up here at the top. And you now I'm using Acme as a font. I could change this to anything. We could say uh, uh, Garamond. Garamond might be a really nice looking font for this. And you got regular, you got your bolds and all these different things. There's a bold Garamond. And I'm going to set this font to be maybe, I don't know, 140 or so pixels uh, big. And I'm going to leave it up there for now. So this, oh, let's go ahead and let's put a drop shadow behind it. Yeah, I say 70% drop shadow. And we'll say save. So now I've got a title that I'm going to pull on here. And let's say I want this title to kind of, now I could, I could add cross dissolve to the beginning of this, right? If I wanted to. And it would kind of fade in. You know what? Let's make that a little whiter. I don't like the fact that it stays gray once again. Here we go. I like these things to be nice and pure white. So I'm going to pull down here, change it to a good white, save it again. So let's, um, you know, I could do a, a, a cross dissolve like this. And then that baby would fade in at the beginning, nice and sl uh, slow, as slow as I want it to. I could pull that cross dissolve. But I want to do it a little differently than this. I want to, ch I want to change the way this, I want this thing to move. Uh, and here's kind of what I'm thinking. I'd like for it to maybe come... From, he, from here up to here, fading in, and then maybe it sits there for a while, and then it gets larger and larger and larger, and then it moves off the screen. So how am I going to make this happen? Well, I'm going to click on Faith, and once again, we're going up here to these effects controls. We need to learn how all this works in, in union, in, in conjunction with each other. you got position, scale. I'm going to twirl this down so I can see my scale a little better. I've also got rotation. We could rotate this a little bit. I'm not going to for this one. I kind of don't want to do that. I'm going to rotate my opacity down. And what I'm looking for, folks, are these little stopwatches, these little things that say toggle animation. These are keyframe makers. <laughs> okay, that's what I kind of call them. They are, yeah, they toggle your animation. They tell things how to move over time. Now, this is very simple. Uh, when I first started monkeying with it, I didn't quite understand how it works, but this is how, how simple it is. I'm going to click on each of these, position, scale, and I'm going to click on opacity. Oops, okay, here we go. So now we have keyframes. A keyframe has been set. You see these little diamond things here? They're just barely on the screen there. They're like half a diamond. That's where the center point of this little diamond, you can't see the diamond yet. We're going to put some more diamonds in here. That is uh, the beginning point. The center point is where that red line is. So we're, this is right when this faith comes on the screen. So when this faith comes on the screen, I want, it to not, I want us to not be able to see it. I'm going to go to opacity of zero. So you see what I did here? I took this and I just I, I, I left clicked on it and I drag it back to where it was zero. Now I'm going to move forward in time to about I don't know about a second and a half here, something like that. You can see here, here's where we're seeing our time, and I want that faith to be fully on the screen at this point, That's where I can see it. So I'm going to change the opacity. Now watch what happens. There's no keyframe here, just a red line. But I'm going to change this opacity to 100%. Now, when I change that opacity, you see what happened? It added a little diamond. So now what it has done is automatically added a thing called a keyframe. This is a keyframe. And what it's done is it's told it to go from 0 to 100% of opacity over that amount of time. Okay? So pretty cool. Let's say I want my faith now at this point to be over here. Now, I have, added, I have a position and a scale. So let's say I want to... Uh, I'm going to twirl that down. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to right. I'm going to uh, left click on this and pull it. I want my faith to be right along in here by this point. And maybe, maybe you're wrong along in here somewhere. 
Okay. So now what I did, you can see what happened here. It created a keyframe here. But let's say I also want that faith to be a little bigger than that. I want that faith to be, I don't know, 120%. Now what just happened? Because I made it bigger, it repositioned it. So I'm going to reposition it back down here. I want the faith to be right along in here at this point. So what we've got, we've got faith changing in opacity, and we've got faith changing in position over time. So let's watch what happens. So it comes from nowhere, and it gets a little bigger, and uh, it moves to over here. So let's say I want to stay right there just like that for a little bit, but then I want it to start moving maybe down. I want it to move down here into the beginning, into the middle. Why would we want this? I don't know. We're just doing it so you can see that it is possible. I want you to understand the possibilities of everything in this program. So I've not changed anything about it. I've not changed its opacity. I've not changed its position or anything. But I am going to add another keyframe. Now, Tony, why would you do that? Well, I want it to sit still for a while, and then I want it to start moving again. So I'm going to tell it that, okay, from, I'm going to put a key keyframe. Now, this little 602s over the top of my keyframe thing. This is aggravating. If this happens, just pull it out a little bit so you can see. And you click the diamond again. It puts another keyframe. So this is, in, a, in essence, this is just telling it to stay the same from here to here. Stay the same from here to here. Same way with opacity. Stay the same from here to here. I'm going to go ahead and click another opacity keyframe. So we're totally unaffected during between this little area right here. Now, I'm going to move forward. And I want faith to get even larger and come down into the, to the middle here. So first of all, I'm going to change the scale. I'm going to say 160. I want this faith to get pretty big. And uh, again, I know where I want it to go. I want it to be down in the middle. So I'm, I'm just lowering it down here. I want it to be a little bit more over to the right. So there it is. And so now I've got faith coming down to here at this point. So watch what happens. It comes in. It stops. Then faith falls down and it grows. Okay, and now, at this point, I want to put another keyframe in until it sets still for a while, okay? So if you want something to set still, you just put these kind of like, I almost call them null keyframes. Really, they're doing just telling, just, just, just leave me alone from here to here. Don't fool with me. Leave me alone. And at this point, I want faith to start fading out, and I want to, to maybe go out to the right here. So at this point, I'm going to start telling it to fade out right along in here. I want it to be uh, really zero again. So my opacity, well, first of all, before I mess with opacity, I should mess with where I want it to go, right? <laughs> because I want to not be able to see it if I turn the opacity down. So I'm going to tell it, ah, I did the wrong thing here. I'm going to tell it to go off the screen. And so you can pull it right all the way off the screen there. So at this point, it's off the screen. And I'm going to tell the opacity to be zero. Okay, so now what I've got is i got Faith coming at the sit in the middle screen. And here, so let's watch this whole little thing happen here. Here we go. Faith comes in. It, it sits there and it hangs. It goes down, it gets bigger. It sits there, and I leave it alone again for a while, and I just tell it to move off and fade away. So there we go. Now, you've learned a little bit about how keyframes work. Now, these keyframes are super important, folks. Why are they so important? Because they tell things how to do stuff over time. And uh, I'm going to come back and show you even how to change the color and stuff and brightness and contrast with this over time in our next video.